I'm gonna press record. All right, man. So we got Aaron on here. Uh, this is Let's Just Talk Books. And we good. are we are here again with my guy. He's again writing a new book. This is a book he's already started writing, and yes, uh, sir. we're bringing him on, man. So how's everything going, man? Uh, if you want to tell good people good. a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and then also what started the book, man. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Um, hey, my name's Aaron McCarthy. Um, you can you can catch me on Instagram as at the Prophecy. Um, so basically I'm from Miami beach, Florida, born and raised, um, um, I'm mixed. My mom is Cuban, Puerto Rican. My dad's African American. So there's that. I was raised Roman Catholic. Um, this mm. book that I'm writing, the, this book that I'm writing has a lot of, um, Catholic, well, I guess Christian, like, uh, it was a Christian uh, inspiration. Mm -hmm. And, um, I'm basically writing, I'm writing a story from the perspective of, of a Nephilim. Mm. right oh. and I, most people don't know what a nephilim is and my story is is, is is actually a little bit different from what it is in the bible and in the book of enoch yeah where a nephilim is is uh, an abomination right it's is when the some of the angels fell from heaven mm -hmm. the watchers particularly the particularly the watchers so after after lucifer after lucifer was sent to hell and banished yeah. and all his all his other angels fell there were these there were these set of angels that god appointed to earth called yeah. the watchers Mm. And the watchers were were tasked with watching humanity grow and make, making sure they like kind of like leading them in the right direction, but not really interfering. And you know they have they technically had free will. So what did they do? They started to mate with daughters of man, mm -hmm. oh, and they wow. created they created nephilim. So nephilim in the Bible and the Book of Enoch are are talked about in, in a few different ways. Two more two most important ways they're talked about are the giants mm -hmm. of, of of lore. Right, mm -hmm. the giants are nephilim basically. Mm -hmm. And they're also called Nephilim in um, Norse mythology. The ice giants in Norse mm -hmm. mythology are also called, are, are from Nifl Niflheim, Niflheim, or wow. more or less, right? Okay. Niflheim, and they're also called Nephilim, which really it just translates to giants, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it really means. Mm -hmm. And in my story, um, in the story that I'm writing, it, it, there's there's two branches of Nephilim. There's the I call it the the Nephilim Giganti, which are mm -hmm. giants, yeah. and the Nephilim Celesti, which are more humanoid but have angel like abilities. Yeah. So the story is written from the perspective of one of those angel like Nephilim. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So Yeah. What's up? I guess going into it, bro, that I, I've never first off, I've never heard anybody write a book from this perspective. What what made you wanna what made you wanna go towards this perspective? Like why this perspective of the Nephilim? Oh well, you know. I, what this this particular perspective, because the Nephilim really are the giants. I'm making up the the Nephilim Celestia. Nephil okay. Mm -hmm. I'm making that up. Okay. They're, okay. And, and like in the Bible, they're talked about. There there are people who are half angels who are who ended up being like great leaders and are good mm -hmm. at like like re, like really great people mm -hmm. were, were maybe related to these angels. Mm -hmm. But in my story, I just wanted to write like I, I wanted to write a fantasy. I've always I've always loved writing and and I love imagination i love storytelling mm -hmm. and i wanted to tell i wanted to tell a story but not one that was already written yeah you know i don't want to write the, the generic old wizard guy guy gains power da, 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 he's the chosen one i don't want to do that i just want to try yeah. a story where it, it has magical elements religious magical elements mm -hmm. and the characters is a character that we don't really we haven't explored in mm -hmm. writing or at least in main in mainstream media yeah and in in this because the story is going to be like it's going to be um it's not going to be a real. It's not. Gonna, it's not like. A, it's not like a biography. It's not a real story. Yeah. But it it will have ev elements of the Bible, and religion where people were like, "Oh man, like I'm, I want to like drop like nuggets of like wisdom in, in the story." Mm -hmm. So people just, just gain their curiosity and, and m more so because my faith has grown as I got older. Yeah. You know, my faith in, in mm -hmm. Christianity has gone has gone has skyrocketed since I've gotten older, and I I want to like, if I want to be like the gateway to somebody, if somebody who's questioning God or like questioning their faith they read my story and it's like wow what inspired the guy to write this yeah. that's part of part of the mission you know what i mean mm -hmm. so the, the one one part is, is to write a story that has been touched on and the part is also to inspire people to mm -hmm. to look into the into the faith if that makes sense and i and and, bro, and if you asked me this 10 years ago i was like the least the righteous least. person bro well, yeah. I, I, oh, yeah. I was a deviant mm -hmm. you feel me <laughs> so like <laughs> I, <feel> you, <laughs> I was <a> deviant <laughs> and even now like i, I wrestle yeah, you know, with with certain concepts, yeah. you, you, you mm -hmm. know how I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like, but deep down inside, like I, I'm, I'm, you know, that's yeah. Jesus Christ is the, is the way. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You, you wanna, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's part of why I wanted, to, I want to mm -hmm. propagate the the word, 
because I'm not a, like a religious fanatic. I'm not gonna sit there and tell you yeah. you're gonna go to hell, but I'm not that guy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But I do I do believe that Jesus Christ is the way. And mm-hmm. I wanna if I if I could write a fiction, that's the word I was looking for. I was, it was a fiction. Mm-hmm. If I could write a fiction that has elements of, of Christianity where you where you read this and you're like, where did he get that from? Like, what inspired this? Or what are what are seraphim? What are seraphim? Mm-hmm. People don't know so there's people there's, start, angels, there's different they start going they start becoming hole. curious. Okay, wow. You get what I'm saying? Because there's mm-hmm. like 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 even in, even angels, like there's like tears of angels. Yeah. That you wouldn't even know. Oh, you yeah. you would think that it's just like a person, a person humanoid with yeah. wings and a halo. No, there's like there's like ones that have six wings, four heads, like nightmare fuel. Like when they when they showed up in the Bible, they literally yeah. said, Be not afraid. Yeah. Like it's yeah. nightmare yeah. fuel. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. some people don't even know about that. Mm-hmm. And I want to, I want people, I want to expose people to some of these elements, mm. and hopefully, you know, probably get the word through through that medium. Yo, that is cr- <laughs> the fact that you're doing this and you're choosing a book, right? Because you could make a movie, you could make a song, a rap song. You know what I'm saying? You could, you could right. go all other mediums. Why a book? A book, you know what? Because a book, being that is one of the older um social medias, right? A book is old <laughs> yeah. social media. Mm-hmm. You can yeah. translate a book into other mediums. So once the book is written, I could do a comic book. I wow. could do a movie. Wow. I could do wow. I could do a audio. I could do audio. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then if 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 it takes off how I want it to take off, other people are gonna be adding on or making like abridged versions of this and mm-hmm. this the um talking about the story and like, oh mm-hmm. man, he got this from that and, and then it'll it'll spark conversation. Conversation, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. That's that's why I like the book. No, granted, I I don't read books, bro. Wow. I read it all if, like if if I did it, like bro, I'm I'm trying to tell you right now. Besides school, right? Oh, look, yeah. I never I never did a school. You know you know you know that summer thing where they had you read like three books during the summer, and mm-hmm. you had that packet mm-hmm. for high school. I yeah. never did that shit. They they so, joining you in the comments, by the way. They joining you, bro. They joining me. Yeah, Meme yeah. said Meme cool. said wow in the comments. And, that's crazy. I never did the packet, the school, the the, yeah. the three read the three books, right? Never did that. Mm-hmm. I um I think I barely read the stories in my art in my language arts class. Barely read them. The only the one the one story that I thought was really cool was Beowulf. Mm-hmm. He, it was oh, epic, I love Beowulf. It was an epic about a warrior. Yes. Right? So that that one I was like, oh, I'm I'm gonna read this. I'm reading I'm that. Read yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you feel me? Yeah. Otherwise, I couldn't care less. Yeah. But I do like I love movies and I love how how they can invoke so much emotion, so much curiosity in mm-hmm. that medium. But almost every great movie was a book first. Mm-hmm. He wrote it a book. Mm-hmm. There's a whole fan base for the book. Mm-hmm. And that fan base translates almost one for one in the movies. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. So I thought that was super, super cool. Mm-hmm. And then also a book, a book is can can be immortalized, right? Yeah. You can be immortalized in a book. Yeah. That's another thing I thought That's I think, so I think it's super cool. That's so true. Like, yeah. like, 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 like you, you've seen the book of Eli, right? He has like the last Bible. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I love that. I love Eli. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like a it's like a dystopian future, and he has the last Bible, mm-hmm. and it's like the only only way you can get it to read the Bible is through that book, and it's braille, oh, yeah. so he has to read it to you. Mm-hmm. So it's like, bro, like, oh my god, like, there's so much, there's so much, there's so much. I don't know, like, I kind of explain. It. There's so much. Um, oh, I can't think of the word. Like richness. There's so much yeah, richness, richness in yeah, the yeah, idea yeah. of a book. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. So once once I get the book out, I can, I can you know get get propel my mission which wow. i think that's i think that's how god is, is working through me that's really what i think it is mm. yeah. oh that because you, you know what it is it's like i'm i'm trying to interrupt you no good and like you... it, one of my favorite characters in media is batman right oh wow because bat, bat batman and not because he's like he's batman but what he what what does batman represent opposed to bruce wayne right yeah. bruce wayne is billionaire playboy philanthropist owner guy right then you have Batman. Batman is a paragon. Yeah. Batman's an idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Because mm-hmm. in, the, in the comic books, Dwayne, something happens to um to to I call him Dwayne. Bruce Wayne. Something happens to Bruce Wayne where where, where Nightwing picks up the mantle of Batman and then yeah. parades around Gotham stopping from as Batman, right? Mm-hmm. So Batman himself doesn't have to be Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Right? The yeah. idea, the the core is mm-hmm. not Bruce mm-hmm. Wayne. The core is Batman. Yeah. Where, what, what I'm trying to say is. I'm fallible mm-hmm. as a human. Mm-hmm. I'm fallible. Mm-hmm. I have flaws. Yeah. So, me as the author, if I if I get this story out and I and I push a narrative, so that's yeah. the narrative is, is that paragraph. I'm trying to push a narrative in the story. There's, there's gonna be a plot of the story, and there's gonna be an overarching narrative that's gonna, gonna have an uplifting mm-hmm. 
right? At the end of it, at the end of it, it's gonna be have an uplifting message. Message, yeah. That is immortal. That's yeah. gonna be immortal. Yeah. Right. And no matter what I do, that message and the overarching message in that story is gonna be Im- immortalized. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. That that's that's sense. what I want to. That's what, that's what I want to do with that with the story with this book. What's the hardest part in in in, in trying to get this book? Together? What's been the hardest thing? The hardest thing is really. The hardest thing is really. I'm trying to balance the myst the mysticism of those those these ideas of these celestial beings, and because because the, the main character being mm-hmm. a Nephilim celestial mm-hmm. would mean that he's half human, half angel, right? Wow, yeah. Mm-hmm. That would be the premise. So he's half human, mm-hmm. half angel. So so there, there there's most of the story. He's 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 mostly human until mm-hmm. he finally ascends and gains these abilities, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. but when he communicates to these these angels, granted, angels are not are not just everyday Joes that just talk yeah. to on mm-hmm. a whim. Mm-hmm. Like in the Bible, when an angel pulls up, bro pulls up, he says, "Hey, are you are you gonna not listen?" And you're like, yeah. "I'm gonna do whatever I want." And then death. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's no questions asked. There's mm-hmm. death and I'm destruction. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. So mm-hmm. so I my first draft of the story, I was writing it mm-hmm. where these where the actual angel characters yeah. were like like were like more like father figures than than actual like being celestial beings of, mm. of, of mystique and allure and, yeah. and mysteriousness. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm trying I'm trying to juggle making making that aspect of the circle. That's that's what the, all the magic is gonna be in. There are gonna be have magic elements between the characters because you know magic. But mm-hmm. the, the particularly the the stuff when it comes to, to heaven and and then yeah. the angels and yeah. God that has that has to have a mysticalness to it. Mm-hmm. And that's when I'm having a lot of trouble. Mm. And also not introducing too many, too many different kinds of creatures at once, mm, right? The best okay. stories, the best stories have depth and not width. Yo, if that makes sense. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Does that make sense? Yeah, depth and not width. Yeah, the yeah. best, best mm-hmm. stories, the best stories have yeah. depth. So mm-hmm. I, I could spend, I could spend a whole story on one location, but there's a whole, whole world to explore, mm-hmm. opposed to exploring so many different parts of that world and not yeah. really going into detail on this, those stories suck exactly exactly right? why is yeah. harry, why is harry potter why is harry potter such a good such a yeah good book? it's like three main characters we, we go bro it's three main characters but we we go year by year mm-hmm. one year well you know more or less one when yeah they, they show up and we do the first year and it's a mystery mm-hmm. oh and it's always a mystery that's mm-hmm. another thing too mm-hmm. when you when you attack these kind of stories there has to be a, a huge element of mystery yeah so there's yeah. mystery and there's depth Mm. And you have to explore it within the, within the context of that book, mm. and then you can move on as if if, if if that sees success. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. That's that's why I'm having trouble. Man, that is what I love about you, bro. Is that you really put thought into what you do? Like <laughs> you you're a man that moves with intention. You know, when I right. first when I first met you, yeah. When I when I first met you, I, again, I saw your stuff, I saw your content, and I knew you from um, Chanel. So I was like, "Oh yeah, obviously he's into fitness." But the more you right. keep, the more you keep. Um, Marquita made a comment. Talk and Marquita, to we're gonna get to you. You'll be able to answer in like four minutes. I'll leave the last ten minutes for whoever wants to like, if she wants to say something. But right. um, when I when I met you, you know, again, I knew you from fitness. But the more I kept listening to you in the live, the more I kept. Hearing you, if a person actually listens to you and talks to you, you know how we DM and things like that. Yeah, what, actually, when I'm not joking, when I'm not telling when you're not jokes. joking, exactly, exactly. That's when it's like right. this. This man, yo, he a philosopher, like, 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 like right, and, right. And not just a That's philosopher, funny. but also a, a, a guy who has faith. I'm practical. A guy, who, a guy yeah, practical. Right, yeah, he's a guy who has faith. He's a guy who who cares. He's a guy who has feelings. He he's a guy who cares in a certain way. They may not just hear that from, yeah, but he's a guy who actually thinks. And is logical in his thoughts with affection and all these other things that, like you said, maybe some things you may say that the females may not necessarily get or think. But the more you sit down and talk yeah. with a person one on one, that's why I wanted to do this with you. The more you understand how who a person really is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mm-hmm. totally appreciate it, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's that, that's what I felt, man. And and so you know, again, I, I every time you open up your mouth and say something, or every time you 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 have um a comment on something or you're again with this book this this thing you're creating there's there's depths to it there's reasons behind it and to know that you're a man who has convictions your faith that then becomes i think even a greater 
level of conviction behind what you say. So I respect it. I respect it, man. This is this is super dope. Um, do you do you fear taking the religious approach when it comes to a book? When it comes, you know, like even though it's it's fictional in a sense, right? Like you're kind of just right. you know making up stuff. Do you fear the backlash that you could get from it from certain people being like, ah, oh, this is oh, I, I've I've considered it. Yeah, it, some people might say this is blasphemy, blah blah blah, or like mm. like what happened with Harry Potter where they're like, this is like this is like witch it's about witchcraft or blah blah. Because my story, I'm not gonna really mention Jesus. I'm I'm gonna have elements. My 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 phone's about to die. Holy smoke. Oh, hold, on, hold on. Oh mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I'm charging. Hold on, I got it in the charger. Yeah, no problem. But um, there are gonna be elements. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not mentioning Jesus in the story, but there are gonna be fantastical, the fantastical parts of the Bible, like the yeah. angels and mm-hmm. and the uh, and the powers and the, and light and el- like concepts of good and evil and yeah. darkness and light and like mm-hmm. the, just I'm gonna take wisdoms, yeah, put, and make and, and actually make a, a story mm-hmm. that anybody can can watch the story. And not feel like oh I'm getting I'm being judged, but because mm-hmm. even the main character, even though he's 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 literally he was he's half he's born half of, of divinity and half mm-hmm. of, of earth, right? Mm-hmm. He has trouble. He has gripes with his morality. Mm-hmm. He'll have his own troubles. Yeah. But he's not a he's not a paragon. He himself is not a paragon of of, of righteousness and justice. Mm-hmm. He has his moments where he's like, you know, I'm I'm a I'm a dog. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I'm mm-hmm. I'm, re- I'm an exact revenge. Dog. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's just raising those questions where he's because again, being that he's he's half human, he has the that flaw. He has that innate mm-hmm. that innate flaw. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I want mm-hmm. people to be be okay because because what happens is when I, I was watching a video, a video earlier. Mm-hmm. There's two kind of people. There are people, and because we're all sinners, mm-hmm. we're all sinners to a degree. Mm-hmm. And it's like people are like they argue, oh, how could I how, how could I believe in Jesus Christ if I keep sinning? It's mm-hmm. like there's that's not the whole that's not the whole story. That's not that's not the whole context. Mm-hmm. If you if you sin and you feel bad about certain like if you feel bad about your sin like you're like damn like I should I should have known better you have Jesus in your heart mm. if you sin without remorse and you think oh I'm just living my best life and I'm, I'm gonna do me and da 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 mm-hmm. and you sin and you sin and you keep sinning keep sinning you and people point out bro these are sins you're doing you're doing things wrong you're, and you're not even trying or at least have that conflict in your heart mm-hmm. then you're not Jesus is not in your heart mm. right. And, and and that's one of the messages I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to to display in that story where the main character he's like because he, in the main character, the first half of the story he's kind of like he's kind of like disregarding God he's like, I, I we've been abandoned by him because you know they're they're Nephilim right the giants the knife in the story in the book of Enoch yeah. God yeah. wipes them away with the flood the flood mm-hmm. the Noah's flood yeah. they were part yeah. of that reason there's a flood to drown the, the giants wow in the book of Enoch mm. right it, it's uncanny it's not it's not canon but in the book of Enoch it's written God did the flood to, to drown that them. Actually happened. the one that yeah. survived got killed by Michael mm-hmm. right one mm-hmm. of the angels right mm. so there's like you get what I'm saying so, so the main character he's part of that bloodline even mm. though he's not a giant and he's he's mm. more favored by God because he's more he's more celestial yeah. he's kind of, the, the celestial bodies have abandoned his people and have mm. left them you know to to propagate it with their own little rules and stuff yeah. in the story but Mm-hmm. He he has trouble with that. He's like, why has my God abandoned me? Wow. And he and everybody, but all everybody else around him is like, yeah, God is this and God is that. And da, da, da. Eventually, he comes around to understand, like, oh, he hasn't abandoned me. Mm-hmm. I just had I just had to seek him. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Wow. And that's wow. a lot of the problems people have now on yeah. now in current day. Mm-hmm. God has not abandoned anybody, mm-hmm. right? Your sins, you're sinning without remorse. Mm-hmm. Wow. God has not abandoned you. God will accept you if you accept Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. I'm saying even mm-hmm. if you yeah. do sin if you accept jesus christ god accepts you you just you just try to be better mm-hmm. right that jesus died for us he was the perfect mm-hmm. human he died mm-hmm. for our sins mm-hmm. you just gotta try to do your best and accept him mm-hmm. he doesn't ask much mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and mm-hmm. that's where the main character in the story he eventually comes around he comes around because he tries to get, he tries to gain power mm-hmm. to, you know to protect the people that he cares about and he's like yeah. why am i keep coming short coming up short when it comes to this, it is because he doesn't accept. He still believes, oh, my, my God has, has abandoned us. Mm-hmm. You know, but that's not the case. He just he just didn't have it in his heart. And then eventually he, when he does come to the realization, then he starts gaining new abilities and, yeah, you know, the story progresses. Mm. Bro. Yeah. yeah, man. I got to bring you back on because I got so many, I got so many questions. Like, and, and I'm not even like a religious buff. Like, I, mm-hmm. <laughs> do you feel me? Yeah. I just, I just. That's just, I feel like this is my mission, bro. I gotta get to the house. Like every day that I don't write on, like there'll be there'll be like days where I don't write and I, I'm so mad. 
when I go to sleep, man, I wake up angry because like, I gotta work now. Da, da, da. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. this is it's, it's been calling me for a long time to to wow. get this book written. Wow. And then the other part of me, my biggest fear, right? Because I I have I'm afraid that I have fears myself. Yeah. One of my biggest fears is it's not is not um making my best work. Mm. Not producing my best work. That's like my biggest fear. Like I'm yeah. such a, I procrastinate because Pro- I'm like yeah. this is, perfectionist. This is, yeah, I'm a perfectionist. Like I, mm-hmm. I want this to be perfect. Mm-hmm. And I you know part of me knows part of me knows it's not gonna be perfect, but the other part yeah. is like I want it to be as perfect as possible. Yeah. You know? Because mm-hmm. I'm not gonna be able to avoid critique. They're gonna be they're gonna be the naysayers. There's gonna be this, this is this is this is witchcraft, this is blasphemy. Yeah. And it's like it's it's, it's a story that it's is mm-hmm. gonna is gonna spark it's going to spark intrigue in, in Christianity. Mm-hmm. Right? If I if because growing up, like if you if you ask my grandma was like a diehard Christian, right? Mm-hmm. Or Catholic. She she reads her Bible to bed and everything. If I start talking to her about the types of angels, she don't know what I'm talking about. Mm. But I like that. That's that's what got me into into mm. back into Christianity. Mm. I, I saw a video. Of some guy was breaking down the tears of angels, and I'm like, mm. "Holy smokes, this is so cool! Oh my god, I want to know more!" Da, 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 da. And then now, boom! Now my faith has been brought back because now I did mm. a deep dive and I I've read certain passages and I'm like, "Wow, I I completely understand things now. Mm. I understand things in my life. Why things have gone wrong? Why things have worked? And it all mm. goes right back to Jesus, man." Yeah. You know, this is such a unique way. I, I don't want to. I'm a. I'm a because again, I have another call. Um, mm-hmm. I want to give Marquita. She she's writing a book too. So I oh, really. Bad, bad. That's why she's in here, Marquita. If you want to unmute yourself, you can ask him some questions. Uh, before the yeah, time's up, sure. she's writing. Some, <laughs> go ahead. I already I already knew why you were staying in. I already know. Well, I wanted to know what his book was about. Yeah. Um, no. My, mm-hmm. What it's about. Um. It's a oh hold on somebody's calling me. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so my book is uh, what it what it, I can't even describe it. It's it's a slice of life. Oh. Hold on, it's a slice of life of of like again again a uh, uh, a magical being who 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 feels that his god or god has has abandoned him, right? Uh-huh. And it's really him struggling through his his the obstacles that life is bringing up to him struggling through through um the loss of lives the loss of of love the you know, griping with the the different concepts that he no longer agrees with you know it's, it's like it's like it's just like our, our own life it's a reflection of our own life mm-hmm. as we go through things and our ideas changing it's okay to, to to change your mind that's another that's another that'd be another concept in the story where he he has these set set things in stones or or these concepts that he thinks are set in stone and it's like no that's not the case these things can change or i can change my mind mm-hmm. so it's, it's like it's more it's really about the human experience griping with philosophy and the, with the, 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 theology theology, theology. Right? Mm-hmm. That's, mm-hmm. that's really what it is it's, i mean it, it, could, it could even be a, 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 a allegory of my own experience with with my faith really sounds like mine mm-hmm. yeah man. <laughs> It's, it sounds really interesting. Sounds like you're bringing a different outlook on, I guess you can say life or whatever, yeah. but like you're you're talking about it in a totally different way that mm. people don't talk about it at all. No, because people think, like, again, like, like people think God has abandoned us. God has not abandoned us. God has, he left us the Bible. Mm. You have to read the Bible to even understand anything to make, to make, sense of anything of, of life right mm-hmm. right even if even if you even if you say okay that these things didn't happen and these are just dramatizations right let's, let's assume mm-hmm. what is in the bible is a dramatization of, of, of actual events and it didn't happen as 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 vilely or brutally as, as explicitly said mm-hmm. in the bible but if you take the wisdom that's in the bible mm-hmm. that book that book is bar none the best book ever in the reference the, the thousands of references across time right What's what's the time span of the Bible? Like over a thousand years, and mm-hmm. there's there's cross references from the mm-hmm. beginning to the end, back to back. How? And people are like, oh, it was written by man, bro. You don't. Mm. <laughs> it was written through man, mm. but by God, you know. So it's it's just, it's just one of those things where like even, like like I said, assume it's, assume it's a dramatization. Just read it. Get the wisdom out of it. Mm-hmm. And 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 then live your life as if as if there is a God. Let's say let's say you don't believe in God. Live the life as if, if there is one. Mm-hmm. If you if you if you live your life as okay, nothing, nothing that can ever happen cannot can can over can defeat me because God is by my side and I believe in Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. You have the most powerful being ever in creation to to on your side. Mm-hmm. How are you going to live life? 
Are you gonna be depressed? Mm. Mm. Sad? No, because you you have the you have at least the, like like um Habib from MMA Habib yeah. Hamdullah that yeah, that guy yeah, yeah. nobody can beat me Allah has me has my side is mm. by my side. You think you're gonna be you're gonna be somebody who thinks Allah's on his side? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you get in the ring with that man and he's talking about God, God. These are the fist of God. He's, yeah. he's working through me. He's beating yeah. your ass. I'm sorry. He's beating. He's beating the the. <laughs> he's beating your socks off. I am sorry. Yeah. yeah. No way, bro. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, my medicine. No, you good? Yeah, book that sounds like um. It makes you think after reading a page. It's not just a book that you can flip through. No. Nah. As soon as you finish with one book, as soon as you finish with one page, it's like you finish with one page, you be like, "Wait, what?" And you probably got to read that page over again. Like, yeah, because hey. it's like it's like he has it's, it's it's a story. It's a person's life. You know, I'm gonna be making up this person's life, but it's like the 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 questions he's he's gonna be posing. They're gonna be questions that we we face on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna be opportunities, or there, there's gonna be like, oh, like friends, like the your principles, right? This character has certain things that he won't do under any circumstance. He won't mm-hmm. do it, like, right? So let, let, let's say, let's say things about friendship, like I, under any circumstance, I will not be, be trifling to my to my my dear friends. He will he will he will rather suffer than to than to um commit treachery to his own friend. Mm-hmm. Wow. So you you'll see that throughout the story where he's being he's. Because he, he will not go behind his friend, he, he he goes through certain things, but he's still a better person because he ends up being better because he stuck to that moral. Mm-hmm. <laughs> things like that. But then yeah. there'll be other concepts where he was he was so like I, I will never change because of my head, this and that, I'm stubborn and blah blah blah. But then he eventually something happens where he's like, I have to change to, for the better of everyone. Mm-hmm. So it's like there's things like that where it's like you you just you you, you gotta develop these characters, bro. Yeah. D- yeah, the character of that's a whole nother character development within a book. Cause that that's the same way in anime. That's the same way in everything else. You're looking for that character development. So you're saying right. that there may, there may be another part. All right. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get ready to stop us though, bro. Cause someone else is about to hop in uh, for the fitness call. So this gotcha, is about gotcha, to be gotcha. so I'm, I'm literally hopping all over the place tonight, man. No, I feel you. Yeah. But bro, I appreciate you, man. Before I, I stop the recording, thank you for the time man. thank you for, um, you know this book that you are writing. Thank you for something you're giving to us. And is there yeah, anything? Else, is there anything else you want to like leave people off with about the book? Um, man, what what can I leave about the book? Just um, just stay tuned. Just stay tuned, and uh, you know, <laughs> get your Bible. Just start reading verses. Just start just start reading your verses, man. Mm-hmm. I love Ezekiel. My favorite verse. Oh, if you if it, actually Ezekiel mm-hmm. thirty five, if I'm not mistaken, thirty five nine. 35, 35, 8, 9. 8, 9. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, that is my favorite verse in the Bible. It's the hardest verse. Actually, if mm-hmm. I can read it to you. Let me see if I can read it to you. Go ahead, go ahead man. Ezekiel. Well, make Ezekiel sure you post your social media so we can see. 8, 9, huh? Oh, yeah. I'll, she she wants to make sure um you post your social media. I'll post it in the in the YouTube video underneath. Ezekiel. Oh, look. This is the hardest verse ever. If, you, if you're having a bad day and the devil's on your ass, mm. look at this verse. Ezekiel 35, 8, 9. He says, I will fill your mountains with the slain. Those killed by the sword will fall on your hills and in your valleys and in your ravines. I will make you desolate forever. Your towns will not be inhibited. inhabited. They will know that I am the Lord. Sound like some slaughter. <laughs> That's the hardest shit I ever heard in my life. In my life, <laughs> that shit goes hard. Can you imagine going against a, a horde of demons and then this somebody's this is ringing in your ears, bro? Fill your valleys and ravines with the slain, bro. Don't play with me, bro. Mm-hmm. This is the guy that you think doesn't. Come on, man. The creator of the universe. You're tripping, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You got to be crazy not to think he's been like. like you really don't not listen to this. All right, all right, cool, whatever. <laughs> all right, my friend. Bro, I'm gonna holler at you later. Appreciate you, for you, appreciate you for having me on, man. Thank you. Absolutely, always, bro. We got to bring you back, man. So again, um, with my public group, I try to always open the the floor up to everybody at the last week of the month. So if you want to come back on, you know, the last week of next month, bro, you're more than welcome. For sure. No, for sure. Thank you, brother. Absolutely, absolutely, bro. Love you, man. And bro, Love stay safe, man. You too, brother. Bye. All right, bro. All right, Marquita. Bye. 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 Bye.